This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my analyze that data. I got tail every day. The day they release us is false. I'm going to give some false and out of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. But listen, I did a video, I think it was two days ago, where I, I challenged everybody who supports the actions of Adam Aaron to give me one legitimate reason as to why Adam Aaron dropped those 350 million shares or announced it right after the earnings right after the best earnings in the history of AMC and two days later two days later after I put that challenge out there I still have not received one legitimate reason from any Adam Aaron supporter to justify what he did. I mean, at this point, even the Adam Aaron supporters are dumbfounded. They are dumbfounded. They can't even understand his actions, and not only his actions, but the timing of his actions. If you go through my Twitter, if you go through my YouTube, they can't justify it. I mean, what he did, it just reeks, in my opinion, of retaliation. It just reeks of his puppet masters pulling his strings and telling him what to do. It just reeks of kind of a dislike for the people who saved AMC. and put $50 million in his pocket and the pockets of his sons. Anybody who thinks that Adam Aaron's actions was beneficial to AMC, beneficial to retail investors, why haven't you guys told me how it was beneficial? I am still waiting for one of you, just one of you, to explain to me how this $350 million drop the day after the best earnings in AMC history was beneficial to retail investors and beneficial to AMC. Adam Aaron is going to end up in a courtroom, no doubt in my mind. This is going to go down as the biggest financial crime in U.S. history. And when we go back and look at the numbers, I believe the losses are going to be in the trillions. Okay? Because I believe they really did have quadrillion counterfeit AMC tokens out there, which means that they had quadrillion of counterfeit AMC shares with all the national and international investors that were into the play. Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think Adam Aaron is going to end up <laughs> in a courtroom and this AMC play is going to go down as the most corrupt financial crime in the history of the stock market? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.